This is Simon, you're watching Cryptechology. Thank you for stopping by. And if you're new to the channel, I am the CTO and founder of PSB Advanced Technology, and we're here to bridge the gap between blockchain and you. I want to help you enhance your future self so you can be prepared for the opportunities of a lifetime when it comes to cryptocurrency. So, stay tuned. Today, we're going to talk about how you can scale a small mining facility into a larger facility with ASICs what you need to do what you need to look out for and also we need to support our miners and support the ecosystem we're going to go into a little bit of ta and then we're going to close out with some new information all right so thanks for stopping by my name is simon you're watching cryptocology now go get a drink go get a smoke go get a toke whatever it is that you uh, either way let's get into it so as the prices start to come down right it's a little bit of a red day so man talking about Bitcoin back down to 21,000 right down negative 4.58 percent Litecoin down 6.93 percent at 91.93 gala 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 down 14 percent all right at a nice whomping four cents algo down 11.84 percent 25 ethereum down 6.23 percent at a nice 1548 with doge coming in at a nice eight cents down 8.85 percent solana down 8.67 percent matic down 3.19 percent Binance down, BNB, Binance down 6.26%, Audio down 9.86%, Link only down a uh, nice little uh, point a zero 0.04, oh, you, seriously, they're down now 0.11%, and Polka dot, Polka dot, dot down 6.46%, ADA 7% down, XRP 3.7%. 1% down. Yeah. How you feeling it? How you feeling it? It's a red day all the way. Red day all the way. What are we going to do? Oh no. Hey, hey, hey. Right? I don't know, guys. Well, I don't know what to tell you. But I do have something to say. Hey, how about you come learn how to navigate the chain? Join the Web3 MCT group on Meetup, the Web3 workshops for all. Why? Because we want to help solve some problems. Because blockchain is about collaboration, blockchain is about community, and blockchain is opportunity to gain ownership over your internet domain, financial independence, and maybe a little bit of crypto responsibility, right? A little bit of dash of uh, a responsibility on top of the degen, you know what I mean? You got to have a little responsibility in the back end. But, hey, you degens out there, you keep degening, all right? Don't you stop degening, all right? So Web3 development, what is it? Web3 development. You can learn the basics of Web3 implementation plans with our workshop training, peer-to-peer, mentor-to-student collaboration, three major steps to take on coding on the chain, right? We're going to go over project use case, smart contracts, Web3 domains, a couple things, a couple areas you can learn when you're part of the Web3-MCT group. Now, here are just um, some screenshots of some things, okay? And uh, here's another screenshot of some things, okay? Because I want to hear from you. I want to hear from you, so I'm reaching out. I'm reaching out from the digital world, and I'm like, yo, I'm tired of being alone. How about you come out from under your rock and come say, hello, mate. I'm from the UK, or is that Australia? I don't know what that accent is, but either way, I want to be. I want to be a friend, all right, so we can talk about things, we can talk about our emotions, we can talk about the ups and the downs, I'm just, with you guys, we're not going to talk about emotions, but we are going to talk about how you can level up with cryptocurrency, that's what we're going to talk about, right, so join the meetup, stop being a scared little yach, take action, all right, 
So take action. Thank you for stopping by. If you want to figure out how to get to this web page, so you can go ahead and click on this link that will bring you to the best damn hardware wallet on the market in the market the s1 yeah it is say hello to the s1 by safe pal why because we couldn't make these videos without their support so thank you thank you thank you to safe pal and you know when you click on the link you can go ahead and get some bundles right or you can or you or you're not I know it's either you have a confidence issue or a money issue I get it it's not a problem you either broke or you just don't know how to make a decision and that's okay but while you guys are all procrastinating all of us real ones we have our hardware wallets maybe four or five of them and we're stacking we're accumulating okay not financial advice don't you dare come out my channel and be like hey he told me what to do because I'm not I'm just saying what I'm doing and you can do what you do when I do what I do and if I level up because you do what you did and then don't you come at me about what you said all right yeah did that make any sense it wasn't supposed to make sense so stop thinking about it that's the whole point of it all right it's just to get your attention I want to hook you I want to hook you I want to get your attention I want you guys to understand how important it is to make sure that you're safely secure in your hardware wallet and your digital assets, right? So, what are you going to do? I don't know, but what you can do is come on over to SafePal and take a look at the website. Just browse around, see, you know, what all this ish is all about. Why? Because I'm telling you, one day in the future, you're going to be like, man, I remember this dude on YouTube talking about hardware wallets and I never got one and then everybody was buying Bitcoin and Litecoin and Algorand and Gala and Ethereum and Doge and I was like asking myself am I confident or if I'm cheap and I couldn't get an answer to the question so I just didn't do anything and now everyone's a millionaire with their Lambos and I'm just watching and from the sideline and I'm just like man I was there I was there. I was right there. Yeah, you don't want to be that guy, okay? Or girl. Or robot. Or cyborg. Or animal. Or however way you identify with yourself nowadays, okay? It's confusing, right? It's confusing the shit out of me, too. Damn it, I messed up. I gotta bleep this out now. I was making this family friendly, but maybe I'm not a friendly family. Or am I? I don't know. But hey! Streamline your success. That's what you can do, right? You can manage Bitcoin, Ethereum, and 10,000 other cryptocurrencies. Why? Because you need to be confused and overwhelmed. So that's why they gave you 10,000 plus, okay? You couldn't just be like, hey, I'm satisfied with Litecoin. I'm satisfied with Bitcoin. I'm satisfied with Dogecoin and Ethereum and the Solanas and the Cardanas and the Hexes and the Mexes and the Reses and the Mes and all the coins in the world, right? You're just like, I'm satisfied. And then you're like, I want more. Give me more currency. Give me more crypto. I want 10,000 plus more. I know. I know you guys. I know you people. All right. You're never. It's never enough. You're always seeking more, you glutton. Gluten. Is it a gluten? Or is it a glutton? Is it greedy? Is it needy? Or is it ambitious? Which one is it? Which one are you? Assertive? Motivated? I don't know. But anyway, you can join the new wave of money. That's what you can do. But you can't be in the new wave without the new tools. All right? Can't be in it if you're not in it. You can't be like, I'm in it if you're not in it. Because you can't be like, oh, I'm in it. Yo, yeah. Oh, Web3 Crypto. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got that. I got that. I got that. Oh, yo. What kind of hardware wallet you got? You'd be like, huh? What'd you say? Uh, I use Robinhood. And you're going to be like, oh, shit shaking my head smh wtf what the hell irl tvw crndwtb i know you're confused again right exactly that's my freaking point guys all right i'm trying to tell you stop overthinking it okay stop overcomplicating it 
Okay, it, you just you you don't need to overcomplicate it. You don't need to overthink it. That's why Bitcoin is OG. I'm gonna tell you how OG Bitcoin is, right? Quick, okay? Let me give you some game. All right, let me uh, let me get you all to understand why Bitcoin is OG. Why Satoshi is OG? Okay? Because yo, Satoshi came out. Whether it's a man, woman, group or not is irrelevant. But Satoshi came out and was just like, yo. We're going to change the game. We're going to change the game. We're going to put in some new tech. And everyone's going to be like, oh, WTF, this is terrible. Only bad people use it and criminals. And then you're going to be like, yo, but it solves some problems. And you're going to be like, what problems? You're going to be like, well, like centralized, you know, uh, centralized currency and banks basically manipulating the world and printing money and inflation and all these other things and you're just like man that doesn't affect me I make fucking da 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 right and you should be like man why should I be concerned about Bitcoin and I'm be like look because you have an opportunity to support innovation and another thing you see why Bitcoin is OG it's because Bitcoin came out and was just like, yo, look, I'm just going to slide this across the table and whoever wants to use it can use it. Hey, all right, hey, nope, don't come back to me. I don't own it. I don't know it. Don't even come at me. It's like, you know what I mean? It's like somebody's just just downloaded, you know, a new movie back in the day. It was just like, I'm just going to slide this. I'm just going to slide this in, in, in the DM. You know, I'm going to slide this on the peer-to-peer, -peer, on the peer-to-peer -peer network, you know. I'm just going to slide this and people can download it, you know. But don't come at me. I didn't do it. No, I'm just fucking with you. No. Look, but seriously, Satoshi created a technology, right? And the technology works. And the technology is dependent on peer-to-peer -peer collaboration and communication right um without really even knowing anybody and that's the cool part about it you know you can say hey i'm going to support this ecosystem all right i'm going to trade in you know my energy um use some computational power to help solve these cryptographic you know um you know uh uh, uh to be rewarded and then, you know, so, and then he bounced, right? So he created this tech, or they, or he, or it, or what, you know, Satoshi created the tech, okay? And then left. Um, and people are like, well, why? And it's because you don't keep building on top of something that's already complete. Like, that's like, that's like, that's like, that's like if Satoshi seriously was like walking around with a Rubik's Cube that was already solved and then telling people like, oh, we still got some work to do. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't even say that without laughing. <laughs> because that's how, that's how crazy it is, right? And I'm just, I know, I'm sorry, you're probably like, man, he's such a dork and geek. I'm like, yeah, I know. But still, it's like somebody walking around with a already solved Rubik's Cube being like, yo, oh, yeah, I did this. And like, oh, oh, yeah, we we're about to, we we're about to update it. And then, you know, I'm going to mess it up real quick and then resolve it. You know, I'm like, no, that's not happening. Okay. It's like, bro, we know the Rubik's Cube is solved. Okay. Like, you don't got to convince us that there's more work to do because it's already solved. It is what it is. Okay. And that's the, that's that's what's so amazing about it all right it's because it was already solved and now it was just a gift to humanity it was a gift to the financial industry it was a gift to the world okay it was a gift to the people and that gift is a powerful gift it's so powerful that it makes others shake in their boots because it threatens their current complacent and comfortable lifestyle, all right, and wealth. And I don't blame them. I would be shaking in my boots too. But the thing about it is it's not here to replace anything, at least not from the jump. 
And I don't see it replacing it in the future either. Not because it's not good or successful. It's just that it just it just doesn't need to, you know. Um, as time goes on and more and more people, you know, enter the enter the universe and enter the world, you know, some people will just grow up only using digital assets. Some people will just grow up only using Bitcoin, only using Litecoin, only interacting with NFTs. Only buying real estate on the blockchain, right? Like, that will happen. Now, will, will cash still exist? Yeah, of course. There will always be cash. Just like there was, there's always gold, all right? Just like there's always silver. There's always, you know, any valuable resource will always exist. Because it's never about replacement. It's about layers, all right? And that's why technology is so amazing because it's not about replacement. I mean, geez, man, there's still companies using Windows 98. There's still companies on like freaking .NET C Sharp, okay? There are people still using windows 95 i can probably almost guarantee maybe not but at least windows xp if you're if you're using anything beyond vista just stop okay just stop and just freaking upgrade a little bit but my point is there will always be a use case okay there will always be a use case now the volatility of that use case that's different you know, will the volume change? Absolutely. Okay. When will it happen? We have no clue. All right. Will it happen? Absolutely. 100%. Okay. Um, and that's why this is valuable. Okay. So now the two most important blockchains you guys need to be aware of okay our Bitcoin and Litecoin all right why is that well let's pull up the chart but it actually has nothing to do with charts okay um, you know the reason why Bitcoin and Litecoin is will always be valuable is because well let's see so Litecoin um, was released in October of 2011 all right, came out as a peer-to-peer -peer cryptocurrency, all right, and it was one of the longest withstanding cryptocurrency, and it's been out for a long time, okay, Bitcoin, Litecoin, they go together like Batman and Robin, all right, the years following its launch, all right, Litecoin became a super popular alternative to Bitcoin, and this is what Charlie Lee is, you know, I really give kudos to Charlie Lee, and his approach to Litecoin, I mean, he did it right, okay? He did it right. And most people are not giving him his thing, and that's okay. They, we don't need to, but the real ones know what's up, all right? And I'm, I'm telling you guys, Charlie Lee did it right. Walking away did it right, okay? He's not like some other founders still holding on, trying to push updates and upgrades to a blockchain that's quote unquote supposed to be decentralized that's not okay that's supposed to be owned by the people but yet they're holding on to your staked coins and they're telling you oh, oh well during the shanghai uh, update we may allow about 16 transactions to to a, a withdrawal per block or some shit like that because they don't want to overload it why because they're nervous why? Because they inadvertently just said F you to the whole mining community and ecosystem and decentralization after the merge. But they also also said that any other proof of stake blockchain out there is extremely valuable. Because if you're trying to tell me that Ethereum is valued at $1,500, there is no way you're going to sit there and try to tell me that Algorand is not valued at $1,500. That Cardano is not valued at $1,500. Okay? That Solana is not valued at $1,500. All right? That any other proof of stake out there is not valued at $1,500. So 
they either inadvertently increase the value of other proof of stake chains out there across the ecosystem or they basically told all the investors of the world that we are super overvalued now that's up to you to figure out but either way you're not going to sit here and tell me that ethereum being proof of stake will continue to have a hold over the market and i think they gave up that hold and i think they did it on purpose and i think it's okay that they did it on purpose all right because you know they had a strong hold over the market um and eventually that hold became i guess a burden to them um and they wanted to 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 move forward from it they wanted to move on like you know them the the they you know they didn't like the amount of rewards being paid out to the miners and how much the miners were making and uh, and the miners were selling and it's all the miners fault uh there wouldn't be down pressure if there wasn't mining and all of this and that and blah 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 and i'm just like man wow that's how you treat the people that brought you to where you are like you couldn't have created ethereum's ecosystem without the freaking miners and i don't know i don't know but either way the bennett you know there's always a silver lining all right um and with this with proof uh with the merge it really started to boost um you know the 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 narrative of mining multiple multiple blockchains okay um the importance of never being reliant on one okay you know there are a lot of people that only mined ethereum uh, with gpus and they didn't learn about anything else um, in the market or the ecosystem, you know, and then so when the merge came, a lot of those people had to sell their GPUs, a lot of those people shut down, some of them, you know, just didn't even know what to do next, and they're just um, idly waiting, and then some people transitioned, and others adapted, okay, um, and that's, that's how you survive in the ecosystem, is adaptability, all right, so, you know, Litecoin, it's, um, when, when Charlie Lee decided to create Litecoin, right? You know, he was like, look, I can't compete with Bitcoin. Nor do I want to compete with Bitcoin, okay? So that was his perspective going into this, right? He's like, how do we create something that won't compete with Bitcoin? It will offer options okay to the ecosystem it will also create growth to the ecosystem right because now people can participate and interact with more than one blockchain um, but not only did he give people options he was just like look you know, in the beginning, he's like, let's find a way for decentralized mining um, to be available to, to anyone, um, to lower the barrier of entry as, as low as we possibly could, um, as fast as we possibly could, you know, and they did it. And they did it for about three to four years. And then eventually ASICs came out around 2014. Um, and then when ASICs became available, you know, it really made it tough for the CPU miners, all right? You know, Litecoin's very memory intensive mining. And, um, you know, so when, when ASICs became available, it just, uh, you know, it changed the game a little bit, right? But it still offered an opportunity for anyone with low powered, you know, CPUs, uh, a basic computer, uh, to, to, to set up a node, run a node, and, and, and support the, the script consensus algorithm, all right, and to support the, the, the Litecoin blockchain. And after that, you know, Litecoin um, started dominating, all right, it started dominating. 
and it started holding its own. And now the cool thing about miners is that now instead of a miner being like, oh man, I need to pick whether I should mine Bitcoin or I should mine Litecoin. Um, because the way Charlie Lee did this and was just like, we don't want to compete. We want to be a beacon of collaboration, right? A beacon of community, okay? A beacon of opportunity. So let's utilize this script algorithm for mining rather than SHA-256. And that's what they did. And because they did that one thing, right? It allowed now options for miners. Now a mining company or an individual miner can be like, hey, I can mine Bitcoin and I can go invest in another ASIC to mine Litecoin. And I don't have to pick one or the other, okay? That is extremely valuable, all right? That is like basically saying, you know, like that, like Bitcoin and Litecoin are so amazing. And I don't think, you know, it hasn't really reached people yet. And it hasn't really, you know, hit the market yet. But when you start to find out that Litecoin is just as valuable as Bitcoin, you will start accumulating like a mother chucking, mother chucking, chuck chuck. And I'm dead ass. All right. When you realize that businesses can implement Litecoin right now, okay, with 10 years worth of data, 10 plus years worth of data, 10 plus years of, 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 of consistency, 10 plus years of an ecosystem a true decentralized ecosystem working all right so then you say well all right cool all right i get it i get it but how how do businesses use this right how does litecoin boost your business okay because you can also look at it like this all right bitcoin will be the the digital commodity to store your wealth and Litecoin will be the digital commodity to transact with. Simple as that. And so if I'm a new business owner today, right? And I'm like, I get it. I know blockchain is the future. I understand this technology. How do I implement this into my business right now? How do I create blockchain as a service for customers and clients, right? How do I seek the advantages of offering Litecoin and offering options to my customers as well? Well, here's one of the ways that you can do it. And I'm going to show you in this video. OK, and also just so you know, the overall market capitalization of cryptocurrencies has grown from 18 billion in 2016 to over 1 trillion in 2021. And it's still continuing to grow. All right. But let's get into how you can implement this. So, for example, right, you want to start your new business today. In a few small steps, you can prepare yourself now to secure your future financial opportunity. We understand your concern with going after new goals. So we want to make it simple for you. We're going to start with small steps and you can scale at your own pace. You can begin this journey to a new revenue income stream with our strategy. And you can prepare in small steps. So when you click on this link right here, it's gonna bring you to my, um, my page. And this page offers you the ability to unlock the secrets to success, right? You wanna get your hands on the ultimate guide to Web3 learning in just minutes with our new ebook. Now, if you want the ebook right now, you can go ahead and click claim free guide or you can follow follow along. All right. So let's follow along. What is this Web3 learning ebook? Well, this Web3 learning ebook will help you with financial ownership. All right. This is financial ownership, financial responsibility on a new level. But we don't want to rush you into this because we get it. It can be overwhelming and it can be quite daunting. So we want to tell you, hey, that's all right. I don't want you doing this and making rash decisions. I want you to prepare 
with small steps. And then when you understand that you can prepare with small steps, you'll be able to scale at your own pace. Because we want you to ultimately enhance your future self. And you can do that by starting your new business today. And one of the ways to start your new business is to help with investing in yourself. So you get a better understanding of Web3 and how you can implement this technology into your business today. I mean, industry leaders are investing billions, billions of dollars into this ecosystem. And they're definitely taking action to secure their future. You see, the internet technology will pivot towards a new era. Now, when it comes to Web3 and blockchain technology, there's problems that need to be solved. Digital assets are valuable and their owners want to ensure security, safety, and convenience of their investments. Web3 Learning offers a secure and convenient solution to these problems. Even if you do not currently own any digital assets, it may become an investment in your near future. So having our new ebook Web3 Learning ready ensures you will have a secure source to that solution. Peace of mind comes when individuals take financial control over their digital assets and you can be a source of security and comfort. As the internet technology becomes more prevalent, owning Web3 Learning will familiarize yourself with the confidence and preparation for the future opportunities. Now, by not participating, you may miss out on the various investment opportunities. The internet technology is rapidly evolving. People will come to you for the source of information you will become a beacon of light to your inner circle with our web3 learning ebook get your free copy today and prepare with small steps forward look luck is no more than proper preparation meeting potential opportunities secure your luck with web3 learning for a small step today you will begin a journey towards an abundant future. You deserve your luck so many has achieved their luck. You deserve yours. Now, it's time for you to secure the ability to participate in the growth and development of this emerging technology. Future Self Web3 Learning, what will you learn? Well, this is introducing you to the Web3 Learning eBook. It's the ultimate guide to the future of the internet. We're going to protect your digital wealth with cutting edge technology. You're going to empower yourself with the knowledge to navigate the exciting world of Web3 and secure your financial future. Understanding the process and the terminology behind innovation. And to stay ahead of the curve, we're going to help you with forward insight on industry impact and other factors on business preparation so take control of your digital assets join the digital gold rush with the power of innovative equipment prepare in small steps be kind to the mirror what does that mean be kind to yourself it's okay you don't have to know all the answers today don't be so hard on yourself. Be kind to the mirror. It's all right that you don't have the confidence to take action. You're not supposed to have confidence. You're starting something that's new. And when you're going after new goals, it's kind of impossible to start with confidence. But when you have our Web3 Learning ebook, and you understand that confidence comes from preparation and due diligence. And you can get started today. And you can achieve some amazing things. And it starts with becoming familiar with the key metrics and performance indicators this new technology has to offer. So get started today. And register your info below. My name is Simon. This is Cryptechology. Thank you for being here. Thank you for stopping by. And before we close out this video, 
let's go ahead and say thank you to Coastal Crypto. See, Coastal Crypto will help you with your ASIC equipment. So if you're interested in getting and starting your new business today, you can go ahead and reach out so you can get your orders in at Coastal Crypto. Let's make some money together. We have some mining hardware and server hosting space for modern entrepreneurs. All right. So stay tuned for my next live. We're going to go over how you can get in, get ordered at a really great rate. And you don't want to miss out. Riot announces January 2023 production and operation updates. If you don't know about Riot, see Riot is a blockchain mining company. Okay. And Riot is focused on supporting the Bitcoin ecosystem through proof of work mining. They believe in Bitcoin and their efforts aimed at growing mining operation. And it helps to demonstrate their commitment to the Bitcoin network. All right. Riot is one of the largest U.S. based publicly traded Bitcoin miners in North America. And they're constantly working to improve their efficiency and production. So thank you to Riot. Thank you to this team for working towards a decentralized future. And you can be part of this decentralized future with an ASIC today. But it all begins with small steps. Small steps. So, financial ownership on a new level. Prepare with small steps and scale at your own pace. Get your free ebook today while it's available. It's only going to be free for a short limited of time before it goes on sale. And I promise you guys, you're going to love this ebook. So sign up today so you can get your digital copy sent to you. Thank you and have a good one.